For a long time, I have wanted to build a new version of my own website. I built the current one a couple of years ago and haven't updated much since then. Today, I decided that it is time to start working on version 2 of my own website. Before we get into any details, let me just real quick tell you about the sponsor of this episode. As a programmer or computer science student, you should know that continual learning is essential for career success. That's why I'm excited to tell you about the sponsor of this episode, Brilliant.org. Brilliant makes it easy to build a daily learning habit and keep your computer science skills sharp. With thousands of lessons on everything from computer science fundamentals to cryptocurrencies, neural networks and more, Brilliant has something for learners of all levels. They also add new lessons every month, ensuring that you have access to the latest information and techniques. I have been studying algorithms and data structures with Brilliant for the past month, and I have loved the interactive and hands-on learning style that they offer. To try everything Brilliant has to offer free for full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash tuomo or click on the link in the description. The first 200 of you will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. I'm gonna start today from the office and since it's such a nice weather, I will just walk over there. In case you didn't know, in Finland the winter is very dark and cold, so now that the sun is shining, it's just so awesome to be outside and get all this light. Okay, time to get to work. Since it is so long ago that I worked on the website, I think today we'll be just catching up on the code base and maybe doing some research on some headless CMSs. And just a short recap on the current website. It's built with Next.js 12. Yeah, as I said, I haven't been working on it for a while. Uh, but the website has some information about me, about my courses, and it also has my blog. The blog posts are stored as Markdown alongside with the code. Even though I think having the blog posts as Markdown is pretty cool, I'm thinking of exploring some headless CMS options for the new version. Since it was such a nice weather outside, I decided to go for a walk and see if I could maybe find some nice place outside that I could continue work. This looks like the perfect spot to continue work. So for the rest of the day, I will be researching some headless CMS options. And by the way, if you have recommendations on headless CMSs that you like, please let me know in the comment section.
I think that's enough for today. Next up, I think I will work on the design of the website. For the old website, I didn't concentrate much on the styling, so I think it would be nice to make the new version also look cool. But that's a task for another day. Now it's time to head 